So we're here finally with Chef Santi, I'm so excited. I just want to know, run me through your life. Where did everything start? So I am from Spain, a place called Galicia. At the age of 16, I moved to the UK. And at wow. the UK, I found a job, uh, what I was still studying, washing plates. And uh, then from there, the chef came along one day on a very busy night, then the short staff and grabbed me by the jacket and said, right, you, in the kitchen. And from there on, I fell in love with the industry. And I went on from working in this tiny little local restaurant, yeah. getting fired by the manager, who, oh was, who, be, who was a family friend. On the same moment, he says, don't worry, I'm only firing you because this place is just too small for you. You need to open How your wings. How amazing is that? It was though? amazing. And I ended up getting a job for the very first time in a Michelin star restaurant. And from there on, I went on to work from one to two Michelin stars. And How was it in the kitchen? Is so, it like intensely, they're fighting for their star? Is it more like you have to do what you have to do and you carry on? No, so basically, I mean, like it, it, you're working at the pinnacle of the industry and it's like anything to, to achieve it, you work very, very hard. Yeah. To keep it, you work harder. One thing, I mean, we all have that dish, that childhood dish that we remember. What was the dish for you that made you realize that food is magic? Because come on, food is food is magic. I pretty much think every dish that my mum made. Oh my word, <laughs> but no. that's very special. That's very special. My mum is an amazing cook. Okay. But there is one dish, it's called callos. And callos is cooked with me. That's I want to go with you to all the local places. I really like to travel yeah. like a local. Oh, yeah. That is something I actually, I, I haven't said that. It's something I would really love to do. I would like to go and do something like Santi Eats around Spain. And do Sign the, me up right uh, now. And do the funny stuff that no one knows about. Like, yes. For example, when you talk about Spanish food, you talk about tapas. Yes. And there's so much more to it. Hundreds. So you take something which normally people throw away, like the guts and whatever, and my mum, not just my mum, but it's a very traditional dish from where we're from, yes. makes this thing called kind of. But you know what, in South Africa, I mean, we use a lot of... Oxygen. A lot of stuff. A, Love it. Is there anything from your hometown or that's Spanish that's similar to South Africa? One of the, one of the biggest things, which is one of my favorite things to eat, yes. uh, uh, is that we braai a lot. What is a braai? So a braai is, we actually do what we call churrasco, which some people will actually think that is Argentinan. Yeah, because I'm thinking okay. Brazil, like churrasco. Okay, churrasco. Okay. churrasco. Okay. okay, but actually, you see, where I'm from, we are, we speak the original Portuguese. So that's where all the connections come in. You oh see, God, so, so churrasco is actually something that descends from where I'm from, okay. and we cook pit fries, we cook on stones and fish. Anything to do with fish. Where I'm from, yes. very very fish, especially shellfish, mm. tuna, bacalao, which is uh, salted Love cod, it. right? Yes. That's uh, this where I'm from as well. Okay, but now you have to be honest with me. Yeah. When you're not cooking, I'm already I mean, honest. Okay? When you're not in the kitchen, okay. and you want to have something that's just absolutely mouth-watering, delicious, but yeah. you're not cooking it, yeah. what are you going to eat? I am a, I'm a very, very simple kind of guy. Okay. I just like a nice steak with a bit of salad and some potatoes, okay. and so it's just very simple, something basic very simple, simple. Yeah. basically very simple. And it's not because I don't like to eat fancier food. It's just yes. because you, by cooking all the time, uh, you just want to relax and relax. But it's like nothing beats a good steak. I'll be to that. That is so true. Yeah. But thank you so much for chatting to us. We're so excited for tonight, and you are going to show us how you played out. Yes. Super excited definitely. for that. Thank you very much. Cool.